Good. All right. Let's start off with that march then, as is tradition. I think next week we'll have a bit of a resistance exercise. We'll do some weight training next week. And then that gives you another little video you can do when you're bored. <laughs> if you have time to get bored. Excellent. All right. Let's start with those toe taps out to the side. Toe taps out. Toe taps out. Where that pigeon's plotting its revenge now after I showered at it. <laughs> Keeps sitting on the fence and looking at me, like, I'm going to get you. Excellent. Very good. Toe taps out behind. Yeah. <laughs> Turn around and all be sitting on the fence looking at me. Oh no. Good. And again, back to match, match three. Excellent. Toe taps out, everyone. Toe taps out. Good. Into heel digs. Let's alternate between the two. Toe, toe, heel, and heel. Toe, toe, heel, and heel. Good. Let's lead out with the other leg. So toe, toe, heel, heel, leading out with that other leg. Excellent. And again, back to march. March it through. Good. Let's bring those knees up. It's increasing that range of movement. Mobilizing a little bit more. Fantastic. And again, back to you, March, March it through. Just bringing that pace up a little bit more, up into a little jog if you're feeling comfortable. Excellent. Toe taps out to the side. Toe tap now. Bring the arms in. And if you want to try, you can do opposite arm, opposite leg if you want to. If your brains are ready for that sort of thing at this time of day. And again, you can always try and get one toe to tap out in front, one taps to the side, but the opposite arm still going up to the side. You can change those feet around. The other one's going outside, the other one's going out in front, but the opposite arm's coming up to the side still. <laughs> Fantastic. And again, back to March and up into your jog if you're finding it nice and comfortable. And we'll go a little bit faster. Excellent, and back down too much again. And one more time, three, two, one, off you go, a little bit faster. Excellent, and back down too much again. Fantastic, relax those arms down. Let's have a bit of brush stroke opening up across that chest. Good, and relax those arms down. Bit of front crawl, keep the arms nice and low. Good, into backstroke, leading with the elbow. Mobilizing those joints. Fantastic, and relax those arms down. Marching it through, taking the feet out to the side. Soften knees slightly, hands onto the shoulders, little twist around to one side, back to middle, round to the other. Try and keep those hips and waist pointing forward, top half of the body that's turning round. One more on each side. And then we're going to have a twist and reach. I have a twist, reaching across and back in. Twist and reach. Last one on each side. Good. And back to the middle again, marching it through. Good, kicking the heels up towards your bump. Good, keep those knees back, getting a bit of a stretch down the front of those thighs. Good, 
Good. And again, back to you, March. And we'll have a knee and a kick out in front. And getting a stretch down the back of the leg as we go. Fantastic. And again, back to you, March. Up into your jog again. Quick rewarm, and then we're going to start the hard work. Excellent. Toe taps out in front. Good. Both arms having a little bit of a swing up in front if you're feeling nice and comfortable. And we can go one, two, and two on the same side. And one, and two, and two on the same side. And one, and two, and two on the same side. Let's try two, two, three on the same side. Two, two, three on the same side. Three's hard to count to. All right, go back too much again. Up into your jog. And let's do some little bursts of speed. So let's go three, two, one. Off we go a little bit faster. Excellent. Back down to your jog again. And again, three, two, one. Off you go a little bit quicker. Yeah, back to your jog again. Last one. Three, two, one. Off we go, a little bit quicker. Fantastic, well done, good. Grab yourself a drink, let's start the main phase of the exercise. Whoop. Excellent, we'll start off with the 45 seconds. Happy job. Ready? We're going to start off nice and simply with the heel digs out in front with the bicep curls as we go. A nice easy start, lulling you into a false sense of security. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Don't expect it to last. It's fine. Excellent. Well done. 25 seconds to go. Good. Coming up to the last 10 seconds. Excellent. Very good. Then we're going to go straight into the reverse lunges. Okay. So back to march, step and back, bend, and then back in again. Remember, trying to get those hip knees to 90 degrees. We're keeping that rear knee off that floor. Good. We're going to aim for eight to begin with. That's three. Uh, that's four. That's five. Six. Last cup on each side. Fantastic. Last ones. Perfect. Well done. And back to you, Mike. You're ready. Taking the feet out nice and wide. We're going to go for those skaters. Kicking those heels up towards the bum. Giving those arms a good old swing. 45 seconds, off we go. Excellent, well done. Coming up to the last 20 seconds. Good. Shifting that weight from side to side. Last few seconds. Fantastic. And again, back to you, March. Let's go for the upright row with the band or with the weights. Throwing up to that mid chest. Band under the feet. Cross that band over. And then rowing up to mid chest. Let's start with 12 repetitions this week. Two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, and twelve. Very good. Well done. Pop that weight down to one side. And we're into everyone's favourite exercise. We're going into the box steps. The feet out a little bit wider, stepping into the corners of that box, forwards, forwards, back, back. Getting those arms to correspond with your legs, which is probably the hardest part of it. And again, if you're finding it nice and easy, you can start to have a little hop into those corners as we warm up into the exercises. Good, last few seconds from this side, and we're going to switch around, leading with the other leg. Last two. Last one, very good. Have a little jog on the spot. We're going to lead out with the other leg. And again, once you've got the hang of that, you can bring those arms back in. Excellent, last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Very good, and back to your jog again. Good, we're going to go for that squat and shoulder press. So either use your dumbbell or take the band. You're going to pop it underneath your foot. Good, so we're going to have a squat and we're going to push up to the ceiling as we come up. Very good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Excellent. Change over to the other side. And again, one, two, three, four, and five. Fantastic. Well done. Looking good. Excellent. We're going to go for the runs and the high knees. Good. We're going to start with five seconds of high knees. So into your run. And we're going to go three, two, one. Off your high knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And back to your jog again. And again, another little round of high knees. Three, two, one. Off you go. Five, four, three, two, one. One, excellent, and back to your run. Last one coming up. Three, two, one, off you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, well done. Back to your jog, very good. Grab your weights through your band. We're gonna go for the tricep extensions out behind. So, band on the floor. Sticking your bum out slightly. Elbows up, extending up behind, and relax back down. Three, four, five. Hinging from the elbow. Eight. Let's try for 12 if you can. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And 12. Fantastic, well done. Last two exercises. Excellent, we're gonna go for the inchworm. Hands up, tap your toes, walk out from the knees if you want to, press up and back in, grab your mats out if you want to. 45 seconds, off we go. Excellent, well done. Last 20 seconds. Excellent. Stay standing once you're standing. Lovely. 
and just finish you off with those leg abductions out to the side and back down. We'll start with 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Same on the other leg. Try to kick the sofa at the same time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, fantastic. Well done, everyone. Good. That's the first round complete. Grab yourselves a drink. Woo. And then we'll move on to round number two. What is warm? Excellent. All right. Moving on to round number two. We're back round to the start again. So we'll start giving you some options, okay? And we're going to change those resistance exercises just slightly. Give you something a little bit different for the round number two. So you've either got the option of doing the heel digs with the bicep curls if you want to. Or if you want to make things a little bit harder, you can go for the foot slides with the arm swings. Okay, 45 seconds. Off we go. Heel digs, arm curls, or you can do the foot slides with the arm swings. Excellent, well done. Excellent, last 30 seconds. Good, last 15 seconds, keep going, doing well. Excellent. Good. Back to you, Mark. Again, this time around, we're going to do the sumo squats. If you want to use your band or use your weights for a bit of resistance, you can. With the bands, you pop it underneath your feet. Nice and wide with that stance. And you can hold the band in the middle, up and down. The weights, obviously, you can just hold in the middle, up and down. If you have something heavy there, that's absolutely fine. And again, let's try for 12 repetitions. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Lovely job. Well done, 45 seconds on the clock as we go back to the skaters. And again, you can just start to shift that weight from side to side a little bit further, have a little jump if you want to increase that intensity. So always trying to keep one foot off the floor if you want to. Excellent, well done. Very good. Come around to the last 10 seconds. Excellent. Well done. And back to you, March, again. Whoop. Good. We're going for the rear fly this time. So those of you doing some dumbbells, sticking your bum out, opening up and back down. Those of you using the band, you can open up in the front putting into that chest and back down, okay? Good, we'll stick with 10 repetitions. So dumbbells opening up and into the chest, lovely. Two, three, 
successful. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve if you can. Fantastic world. I'm popping that band down to one side when you're ready. Fantastic work. We're going back to the box steps, the feet out to the side, nice and wide into that box. And again, 45 seconds. Off we go. And remember, you can have that hop into the corners and make those arms as big or as small as you want to. Excellent, last couple on this side. Have a little jog in the spot, leading out with the other leg. And again, get those arms to come back in when you're ready. Last few seconds. Fantastic, and back to your jog again. Going straight into the squats with the shoulder press. Good, we're gonna go for six this time on each side. So put on that band or just using one of the dumbbells. Good, so squat and up. Two, three, four, five, and six, very good. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, we're gonna go for the run and high knees, six seconds this time. Four to five seconds on the clock. Ready, and three, two, one, off you go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, back to your jog again. And again, three, two, one, off you go, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, back to your jog. Last one coming up. Three, two, one, off you go, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, and back to your jog. Excellent, upper back this time, with the band under hand grip, opening, drawing into your tummy button, and relax down. With the weights, it's a simple open and close. Good, and again, 12 repetitions if you can. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Very good. That brings us around to the last two exercises. It's the inchworm. You know what to do. 45 seconds. Here we go. Tappy toes, walkie out, have a press up, walk back in. Who doesn't love this exercise, honestly? Woo. Very good, 30 seconds to go. Good, last 15 seconds, see if you can fit a couple more in. Excellent, once you're standing, stay standing. Lovely job. And finishing off with those leg abductions. 
up and down. Sticking with 10 again for me. Eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Same when you have a leg when you're ready. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Round two complete. Grab yourself a drink. Oh, theory me. Everyone good so far? <laughs> Still hanging in there. That's good. Excellent. Well done. Last 10 minutes. All right. Last 10 exercises. All right, back round to the start again then. So same as before, you've got the options of those heel digs with the arm curls. You can shift those feet. 45 seconds, off you go. Excellent, keep it going. It's very hard to see my watch while doing this. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. 20 seconds to go. Doing well. Nearly there. Good. Last few seconds. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Well done. Good, reverse lunges again. Let's go for 10, all right? So toe tap back. One. Two. Uh, three. Four. Five. Six. Come on, four more. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last ones. Ten. Fantastic. Well done. Good. Feet out to the side. We're going for the skaters, kicking those heels up towards the bumps. Shifting our weight from side to side. Having a good old swing of those arms. Well done. 45 seconds off we go. Remember, trying to keep one foot off the floor if you want to. If your legs aren't broken enough already. Well done, 15 seconds to go. Last five seconds. Well done, back to you much again. Let's go back to the upright row. Let's try 14 repetitions this time. Whoop, whoop. Here we go then. Bring up to that mid chest. Remember the up phase and the down phase are both very important. So slowly up and slowly down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more to go if you can. 11, 12, last couple, 13, 
Dean, fantastic. Well done. Excellent. Halfway stage of the last round, into the box step again. Step into the corners of that box, fours, fours, back, back. Remember, you've got those hops if you want to. Arms and legs, making those movements as big or as small as you want. Well done. Last two on this side. Last one, have a jog. Lead out with that other leg. And again, arms and legs corresponding. Last 10 seconds. Fantastic, and back to your jog again. Lovely. Squat with a shoulder press. Seven repetitions on each side this time. Good, so hand up by your shoulder. Squat down, off we go. One, two, three. Make sure those bands are well secured. <laughs> Four, Seven, very good. Same on the other side when you're ready. Seven repetitions. Hand by shoulder, down. One, two, three, five, six, and seven. Fantastic. Well done. Run in high knees, seven seconds this time. We're nearly there. So into your run. Good. Three, two, one. Off you go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And back to your jog again. And again. Three, two, one. Off we go. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Good. Last one. Let's get real high knees this time for the last seven seconds. As high as you can. Three, two, one. Off you go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And back to your jog again. Oh, dear. Very good. <laughs> Bicep curls. Either with the weight, with the band underneath the foot. 12 repetitions. Elbows tucked in, hands up to shoulders. Nice and slowly, take some recovery time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Lovely job. Well done. Last couple of exercises then. 45 seconds of each worms. We're nearly there. 45 seconds. Off we go. Tappy toes, walking out, have a press up. Back in again. And the four. Yeah, 20 seconds to go. Count to the last 10 seconds. See if we can get another one in there. Oh, dear. Fantastic. Well done. Stay standing once you're standing. Good. And as always, leg abductions to finish off. Nice and slow up and down. Sticking with 10 still. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10. Fantastic. Same on the other side when you're ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lovely job. Well done, everyone. Grab yourself a drink. Have a quick cool down. And I'll do some of our floor work. Oh, dear. Everyone good? <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Good. All right. When you're ready, just back to your march again. Good, let's go back to our toe taps out in front. You can keep a gentle arm swinging if you want to, but reducing that pace down, reducing that range of movement, taking everything back down again. Excellent, all done really, really well. See, I told you it would start off easy and end up really hard. No. <laughs> uh. Good. Back too much again. Whoop. And you turn off. Good. Toe taps up to the side. Toe taps up. Ah, back too much again. Good. Let's go for those slow box steps, okay? So stepping into the corners of that box, forwards, forwards, back, back. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Opposite hand, opposite leg. One, two, three. And four. One, two, three, and four. Let's slow it down. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, and four. A little bit slower. One, two, three, four. Still opposite hand to leg. Let's try on the other side, leading out <laughs> with the other leg. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Last one, two, day. Very good. Back to your walk again. Good. Slow knee raises up and down. I remember if you find it nice and easy, try closing one eye. If you still find it very easy, try closing both eyes, slowly bringing that knee up and back down again. Slowing that pace down as much as you can, really challenge your balance. Good. One more on each side. Fantastic. Well done. And walk it through. Well done, everyone. Grab yourselves your mats. If you have a mat available, keep mine down here in the bag. Mm -hmm. Have a smorgasbord of delights in terms of core exercises for you today. A smorgasbord, that's right. Lovely. So uh, we're going to start off with the bicycle crunch. I'm going to stand here so I can actually see it. There we go. Good. All right. So on your back. 
go. Remember the bicycle crunch, all right? You can bring up, touching and back down, elbow to knee, opposite sides, or you can keep those feet off the floor, touching, back in, touching, and back in. Good. Ten on each side. If you find your back is coming off the floor and it's starting to arch, go for the foot down option, all right? That just gives you that little bit of support then, rather than keeping the feet up in the air. That's it, lovely. Nice and slow. Don't forget to enjoy it. Ten each side. You can relax down fully in the middle of the movement. Really feel those abs engage as you slow that pace down. Excellent work, well done. Good, and then we're going to move on to our glute bridges. All right, so remember you can do these from both feet flat on the floor, just simply pushing those hips up towards the ceiling, squeeze those bum cheeks, and then back down again. So just up, squeeze, and back down. Remember, if you want to, you can try the one-legged version. So up and back down. So you can either do 10 together, or you can try and do 10 on each side, but as many as you feel comfortable. Make sure you give those bums a good squeeze at the top of that movement to engage them, and then relax back down. So you should feel those glutes engage as well as those hamstrings. Yeah, just have a relax when you're finished. Lovely job, well done. Good, and we're going to start off nice and simply. We're going to do the reverse crunches. If you have a ball, you can put the ball underneath your feet and you can grip that ball and do your reverse crunch. The rest of you, give yourself support out to the side, feet on the mat, and then we're going to do that reverse crunch and relax back down. Again, 10 repetitions. Crunch and back down. So you can use a ball underneath the feet. My ball has disappeared somewhere. I do not know where. And again, 10 repetitions. Make sure you maintain your breathing. Really engage those abs. So don't fling your legs up there. Make sure that movement's coming from those abdominals. Really crunch it back up, trying to get those knees nice and close to that chest. For the lower portion, those abs really working away. Everyone still breathing? <laughs> I thought some talking would be appropriate there, but that's fine. Not keeping your weapon, my sorry. <coughs> Lovely job. All right. So you've got the option this time. You can stick with the bicycle crunches if you want to, 
or you've got the cross and pulse. So opposite sides, touching around to that knee. Remember 20, so 10 on each side. And then the 10 pulses or even 20 pulses in the middle if you're feeling up to it, okay? So you've got the bicycle crunch. Feet on the floor or off the floor. Or you can do your 20 crosses, 10 on each side, and then your 10 or 20 pulses reaching up to the middle. The choice is yours. Excellent. Well done. Better make it look like I actually do some exercise. That's when anyone looking at those videos would think I'm just really lazy, wouldn't they? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 20 pulses is horrible. Oh, <laughs> As, who ever thought of that? <laughs> Excellent. Good work, well done. Lovely work with those bicycle crunches. Excellent. Fantastic. Glute bridges then. So remember, you can just do the uppy downy ones. And down. If you're doing the two-footed ones, you do want a bit more of a challenge. And remember, you can do your glute bridge and then just have a little march. One, two, and then back down. And again, you can do 10 of those. That's kind of an intermediate stage between just doing the one and the two. But again, make sure that you're squeezing those bums at the top. Have a march through and down. But if you're feeling confident, you can always go for the one leg up and down. So both together. Both together with a little march. Or the one leg up and down. Excellent, well done. Excellent, well done. Good. And for your last exercise, you can either do the reverse crunches or I do have another option for exercise for you once everyone's finished. Lovely. You can try the flutter kicks, okay? So reverse crunches, knees up to chest, absolutely fine. Flutter kicks, make two fists, pop them under your bum, just to get you a little bit further off the floor, legs out in front, and you can change between one and the other. Start off with 20, so one, two, three, four, five. If you find it easy doing 20, you can try for 30 if you want to. So flutter kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Extend those legs out. Bums, hands under bums. It starts off all right, doesn't it? No, and then about halfway through you. You wonder what on earth you're doing. <laughs> Excellent, well done. 
Good. Once you finish, grab yourself a drink, all right, and you can have a relax onto your mat. We're going to go into a little bit of a nice cool down. Last few minutes. Bit of a stretch to finish off today. Well done. All done really well. Excellent. So just having a lie on your mat. Just take some nice deep breaths. And remember, as you breathe in, pushing that tummy out. And as you breathe out, allowing that tummy to fall back into place. A couple more nice deep breaths. Excellent. Good. Extend that one of your legs, the other one flat with the foot flat on the floor. And you can bring that knee up towards that chest. Give it a hug in towards you. Good. You can bring your nose up to touch onto that knee. Good. Back down again. Take that knee up to the opposite shoulder. Just feel that stretch move slightly. Good. And then take that knee right across the body. Keeping your upper back in contact with the floor, you can take the other arm out to the side just to give yourself some stability. Breathing nice and comfortably as we do this. Excellent, very good. Back up to the middle again, relax that foot down. Change those legs over. And again, bringing the other knee up towards the chest, give it a pull in towards you to begin with. Keep breathing nice and comfortably. And again, if it feels comfortable, bring your nose up to your knee. Good, relax back down. Bring that knee over to the opposite shoulder. Good, and then right across the body. And again, extend the other arm out. You can always have a nice glance over towards it. Breathing nice and comfortably as we try and ease that knee down towards the floor, getting that stretch down the upper thigh. Good. And relax to the middle again. Fantastic. Have a wiggle out of those feet. Good. And again, just have a think about your breathing as you breathe in. Pushing that tummy out, and as you breathe out, allowing that tummy to fall back into place again. Excellent, well done. Coming up into your seated position then. Yeah, taking the feet out nice and wide, as wide as you feel comfortable. Pop your hands onto one of your legs. Now watch the other knee. Make sure it doesn't come too far off the floor as we reach down to one side. Reach as far down that leg as you feel comfortable. Excellent. Relax back in. Have a wiggle out of those feet. And again, take the feet out nice and wide. And again, reaching down to the other leg this time. Good. 
and relaxing in. Give those legs a bit of a wiggle out. Good. Take them out even a little bit further if you can. Nice and wide. We're going to reach forwards. So stretch out in front. Try and reach the wall opposite. Excellent. And relax back in. Very good. And have a wiggle of those feet. Perfect. Well done. All right. Come around onto all fours then. So knees under hips, hands under shoulders. And to start off with a bit of a calf stretch. You're going to take one of your toes back, toes onto the floor, and just driving through that heel. And a little bit of a stretch down the back of that leg and that calf area. Excellent. Well done. And switch those legs over. And again, driving through that heel, tail onto the floor. Excellent. Well done. Relaxing back in. A few cat cows. So taking a nice deep breath in, looking up towards the ceiling, forming that U with the back. And as you breathe out, looking down towards the floor, I'm forming that end. Make sure you keep the tummy button pulled in towards you. Nice deep breaths as you transition between the two. Very good. One more. Very good. Coming back to neutral position. Lovely. Taking one hand in up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, taking that hand underneath yourself, sliding it down, bringing the shoulder, the temple down to the floor and just keep breathing away nice and comfortably. As you breathe in, you're going to bring the hand back up towards the ceiling. So big breath in. And relax back down. Very good. Same on the other side. Okay, so nice big breath in. Hand up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, sliding that hand underneath. Shoulder, temple down to the floor. Keep breathing away nice and comfortably. Good. Next time you breathe in, big breath, taking the hand up towards the ceiling. And relax back down again. Very good. All right. Let's walk those hands back in and you can come standing. You just upper body stretch just to finish off. So bring one arm up in front, take it across the body, give it a little bit of a hug in towards you. Excellent. Relax those arms down. Let's have some nice big shoulder rolls. Same on the other side. So arm up in front, take it across the body. Give a little bit of a hug in towards you. Excellent. And again, relaxing down. Roll those shoulders back again. Good. And we're going to gently cross the arms in front. Palms up towards the ceiling as we take the hands out to the sides. You're going to stretch across that chest, open up, and again, cross, open up, big breath in, and relax and cross, open up. One more time, cross, open up. Good, relax the arms down by the side. Let's have a bend, back up to the middle, a bend. Good. One more on each side. Good. Let's have a bend and a hold. Hold it there. 
free hand up towards the ceiling, have a look up towards that hand, big stretch up, dip down slightly and then stretch up again, really try and reach towards that ceiling. Fantastic, well done, and relax back down. Good, over to the other side, and again, reaching up with that free hand, dip down a little bit further if you can, stretch up again, try and separate those hands away from each other. Good, and back round to the middle again. Very good, give yourself a bit of a shake out. And we just finished with those quad exercises, all right, quick stretch of those. We've done a lot of work on them this evening. So use a bit of support, the chair or the wall, whatever you fancy. Good, reaching down, grabbing the back of your shoe or the back of your trousers. Good, or onto the laces. Again, we're pulling towards your bum, bring those knees back together. Try and keep yourself nice and upright as you go. And then if you find it nice and easy, you can just take that knee back a little bit further. But again, make sure you keep yourself upright, feeling that stretch appear a little bit more just down the front of that thigh. Excellent, very good. And relax back down. Same on the other side. So again, back of the shoe, round to the laces, pulling in towards your bum, close as you can. Bring the knees back together until you feel that stretch down the front of that thigh. Hold it there for a few seconds. And if it relieves off nicely, you can just take that knee back a little bit further just to increase that stretch again, and we'll hold it there. Fantastic. Well done. And a nice control moment. Relax down. Give yourself a shake out. Woo! Excellent. Well done, everyone.